Yo, it's Dapper and Naz, dropping another review on y'all. And this time, what we're going to be doing a review of is the BAM. This is the the MPOW waterproof bags. MPOW waterproof bags. The model number is MPPA021AB. That's Mike Papa Papa Alpha 021 Alpha Bravo. That's the model number of these. Now, this is the all clear one. Um, these come in different colors, but I chose the all clear one that works best for me because I have a large phone. I need the most viewable space as possible, but it's just, to me, it's just better that way. Um, basically, it's just a waterproof bag for your phone. So, like, for people who like to go to the beach, you know, around pools, and stuff like that, and you don't quite, and you don't have a phone that's, uh, waterproof or water resistant, you know, drop your phone into something like this, and, uh, this should protect it, you know, enough to keep it from getting damaged you know it's not gonna protect you to go like it's not gonna protect it obviously to go deep sea diving or anything like that but um this will definitely protect it from spills and if you were to drop it in a pool or a tub or something like that and it even make it so that way you can even go in the pool and take pictures it, um it's ipx8 rated <clears throat> which i'm not exactly sure what that is but i believe you can go underwater a couple feet but that's about it um wouldn't recommend taking it in the ocean but other than that we in though, so let's get into this. This is the front of the box right here, and there's all your art, um, your artwork, right there. Here we have right there. It says waterproof, secure, lock and seal, touch friendly, scratch resistant. Okay. On the side, you got nothing. The top, you got nothing. Bottom, you got nothing. The back, you got some information. You got your barcode right there. It's upside down. That's what she looks like. If you need to see that, it's covering up some more of the artwork. You have some instructions here, some notes. I should tell you, please conduct a safety test. Uh, that that BS. Basically, when you have any kind of waterproof case or anything like that, it can be waterproof. Before you put your device in it, that's not waterproof. Basically, you want to take a piece of tissue, put it in there, submerge it for like 30 minutes to see if the tissue stays dry. If the tissue stays dry, then you know that the device is not defective. So basically, that's what that's saying, and in my terms, um, and also to avoid it from sharp objects or anything that could puncture it. Um, so. Here goes your tech support if you should need it. Support at xmpow.com. There goes the website address and some other crap. So let's just get into the box. And uh, the warning that they give you back here, that's my warning too. I'm gonna be testing it to see how waterproof it is. Um, I actually have a waterproof phone, so it does. I can slap my phone in. There's no big deal. But uh, I was, you know, the same warning they gave you. Please check it out. If you if your phone's not already waterproof, check it out. Make sure that it's waterproof before sticking your phone in it and potentially ruining your phone. In the event that the one that you get happens to not be waterproof, I'm gonna assume that I, this one is. That there's no defects in it, and I will go from there. Okay. So it comes with two. This is the two pack that I bought. So I have two units right here. All right put one to the side comes with your unit itself and then your lanyard so there's no need to open up both of them so let's just work on this one okay bam this is what she looks like just like that on the back side have a little bit of information in the diagram there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and open this up take it out you pull this clip back just like so and you see that flip forward or you can just flip it forward from the side either way that's how you unlock the clip and then you pull it apart, you see the little things go through the hole there. You go ahead and pull it out, and now your thing is open. Okay, Just take this paper out. That's what she looks like. I'll zoom in closer so you can take a look at that. There goes your notes again. Oh, go ahead and drop it. And uh, MPOW, match your smart life, whatever. All right, so what I'm gonna do, grab my phone, leave the case on and everything up in this bad boy and just throw it up in there, see see how well it fits. If it uh, take it with the case or if I gotta take the case off, we're gonna see right now. Tell you what, my case is hard to get in there because of the material of the bag and my case, but as you can see, it's barely making it barely barely making it but 
and getting it in there. Bam. Bam. And we're sealed, baby. My case is in now. All right. And that's what it looks like with a phone in there. Okay. It says it's touch friendly. So what I'm going to do is. All right. I'm able to get through. I'm going to come off the screen a little bit, do my passcode. Well, let me just do my face. I should just recognize my face. All right, there we go. Oh, I was in my, what's called, okay. So it does, it does uh, recognize. It's a little bit of lag, but it works pretty good. All right, let's go into the camera. All right, it's pretty clear there, as you can see. It's pretty clear. All right, look at that. So you have to say that this does what it says it does. You know, I mean, you can, you know, register your touches fine. You can see clearly through it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come out of it and I'm gonna grab a bowl of water and throw this bad boy in for five minutes. And uh, well, my phone's waterproof, so that's not really gonna test it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna do like the instructions. So I'm gonna put some tissue in there for uh, a couple minutes and then I'm going to uh, open it up and take the tissue out and see how wet it is. So, um, see you on the flip side. Okay, we back in. We got the bowl of water here. We got the good old Empow. All right, you see I got the tissue already in there. So nothing left to do it, nothing left to it, but to do it, I'm just gonna go ahead and drop this bad boy in. And, and this kind of floats. So what I'm going to do is put something in here to hold it down. All right, you know what? I'm just going to just going to hold it down with my hand for um for like 2 minutes and then I'll go from there. Okay, it's been about 2 minutes. A little bit more so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab something to pull this out and dry it off with got a towel over here so that way pull that to the side set this down here go ahead and pull this out and dry it off so that way uh, we don't get any water in it by accident if any water is going to be in there it's going to already be in there let that sit there and dry for a second move this out the way before I spill it okay I'm just gonna make sure this is dry dried off really well go moment of truth oh, it's still a little still a little wet in there so I'm just gonna keep this down I want to get my board wet okay now that I did that let's let whatever water is right on the edge of there come out Okay. Looks like I got any excess out. But as you see, no water, nothing. Tissue is bone dry. I know you heard the frame before, phrase before, bone dry. So this bad boy works at least for two minutes. You know that it works. So if anything else, if you drop it in, you know, the toilet or or the bathtub or the pool, if you grab it right out, you know your phone or whatever device you have in there is going to be protected. But if you were to uh, go underwater for a couple seconds, take a couple quick 
pictures or videos, you know, at least you're good there. I mean, most uh, water resistant devices are rated uh, IPX uh, 67 or 57, or whatever. Usually that's good for uh, uh, 30 minutes at uh, five and a half feet. So I'm going to assume that uh, IPX 8 is a little bit better. Um, so um, I'm going to say you're at least good for a half hour um, underwater which is the reason why on the box it said to hold it under there for a half hour to make sure you get uh you know that there's no leaks or anything but to, I figure two minutes test half hour is all the same if it's gonna leak it's gonna leak if it's not it's not I mean you're not it's not underneath w enough water to create enough pressure to, uh, to force itself in there so and if you're going that deep you shouldn't be you shouldn't be uh you know worried about your phone or whatever anyway because you shouldn't have your device out in the o open water you know that deep anyway because it's just not made for that all right, so with that being said, this has been the uh, unboxing and review of the MPOW waterproof bag. Um, I'm gonna say cop that. I uh, paid eight bucks and it came with two. So, um, oh yeah, real quick, one last thing before I go. Um, let's go ahead and drop this lanyard on here real quick. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna put the links in the description where you can where you can get it. Um, for the money, I'm gonna say grab it. A nice long uh, lanyard there. Got the little Empal branding on it. Go ahead, drop this through here. I'm gonna put it through this way so I can bring it out the other way. Bam, like so. All right. Bam. All right, and that's how you put your lanyard on. Just like that, and this is what it looks like. Lanyard on the device, bam, like so. Let's get this out of here so you can see it. Lanyard on a device, bam. So, with that being said, I'm Dat Brunez, and this has been an official review of the Empower Waterproof Bag. I'll put the links in the description where you can cop it, but definitely cop that. Eight bucks for two, you can't beat that. So protect your phone, valuables, whatever, you know. Um, I'm Dapper Inez, and I'm out this piece.